hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to learn about the maplets and uh, how to create a maplet in informatica so first of all a maplet is an uh, object that is reusable which we create in a maplet developer uh, uh, maplet designer so let us assume that there is a requirement where we have to concatenate uh, first name and last name every time in each and every in multiple uh, times in multiple mappings we have to take on do the uh, same thing we have to deal with the same concatenation in that case uh, that logic we can create in the maplet uh, designer and we can reuse it again and again to concatenate the first name and last name to get the full name so how to create a maplet in uh, informatica okay uh, to do that uh, there is a maplet uh, tab over here selected maplet designer okay now you can provide the name for your maplet so i'm going to name it something like mplt uh, underscore scenario okay this is my maplet name so there are two things in maplet first will be the transformation which will contain the input ports and the second will be the last put, uh, last one that is a uh, maplet output it will contain the output port so to create input and output port uh, we will have to go to transformation tab then select maplet input okay provide the name maplet input okay now you will have to add the uh, input ports so provide names for the input ports which uh, you uh, which you are going to use so i have two input ports in my case that is first name and last name now these are the uh, input and output port, uh, input ports and uh, so to concatenate them we have to use a expression transformation so drag this in these ports to the expression transformation and uh, create another port in the expression transformation and uh, name it as output port uh, that is full name and provide the size should be more than uh, 40 because we are going to concatenate it okay and this is going to be output port and uh, we have to write the logic over here so to concatenate we can use either of the concatenate function or we can use uh, pipes okay so i'm going for the second one first underscore name then space then last underscore now validate this one it is validated apply and ok now create the output port um, that is out, uh, maplet output provide a name so what should be your output uh, port name you can just click it and uh, give the name to that one now in my case it will be full name so I am dragging this to the applet output now to check whether this uh, created maplet is valid one or not we have to validate it so go to maplet tab uh, maplet tab then go to validate and click on it so you can see the maplet is valid now save this maplet now I am going to use this maplet in my mapping 
which I am going to create right now. So I'm going to create a mapping. Okay, this is my mapping. My source will be employee table. I don't require this book. And my target is uh, this one. It contains the volume. Okay. Now you can use um, the maplet over here in between source and target. To get that, um, extend this one. Uh, and this is the mapping there. Okay. This is the maplet which we have created. Just drag it. Now you can see it, it contains input as well as output ports. Now connect whatever it is required to source and target. First name and last name has to be connected to the maplet. And full name is connected to the full name. Now save it. Now mapping is valid. Now create the workflow. Provide the connection values. Go to the workflow manager. Check the input and output source connections that is source and target connection values select normal if the target contains primary key Okay, my workload is run successfully. Okay, let's verify the data. Now you can see in the full name we have both first name and last name Ravi Sharma, Steve King, Neha Kocher, etc. And uh, that's all. Hope you like this video. Thank you.